All right, what I have here is a late 20s, early 30s, German-manufactured Homocord Electro, electro-portable. It is in red color, and you can see the obvious influence of the Gramophone Company's Model 101 in the corner protectors. The machine itself's dimensions are slightly larger, and it's a bit heavier because it incorporates a two-spring motor, two small springs in the motor in there. You literally will wind this about a hundred times to get it fully wound. That's not a joke. You really will. It uses a slotted crank, which goes in at an angle, very similar to the late 101s. Well, the 102 actually took the slotted crank, but I believe the very last 101s did also. And under the lid here, you can see a wonderful example of Art Deco design incorporated in a portable phonograph. I mean, look at this. We have polished wood. We have the Homocord Electro company logo there. Now, Electro is exactly what it sounds like. Some of these machines did incorporate an electric motor, not this one. Homocord had a full lineup of phonographs in Germany before the war. Uh, they had floor machines, they had tabletops, they had portables, of which this is one. You can see the, the record tray there. It pops right down. And it's solid wood, and it's nicely, nicely pin it, finished there. Let's get that back where it belongs. Or not. Now, over here you can see more influence of the HMV 101 and the placement of the horn opening, the size of the horn opening, the design of the tone arm. And we have some homochord touches here, such as the speed control, which is nicely polished brass with a homochord logo, company logo on it. It's in German, of course. This is a German machine. And we have homochord again stamped on the needle dispenser. This is an intro. I don't have any needles in here, I don't think, but let's see. You turn it here, you push it down. Oh, look at that. There actually were needles in there. I didn't even realize that. It pushes the needle up for you. That's a needle dispenser. Something I have... Actually, this design I have never seen on another machine. That's apparently a homocord only. The lid stay, of course, looks exactly like what you would find at any HMV 101. Now, homocord had their own design. Very large reproducer here. This is bigger even than the Victor number 4. You can see it says Homocord Electro. It's got the company logo. It has Made in Germany on it. Now, this is not rebuilt. I haven't done this one yet because I haven't yet found white gasketing of the right diameter. This is very small gasket in there. I'm assuming that that diaphragm is glass. It feels like it. And the lack of scratching that is common with mica diaphragms makes me think that is a glass diaphragm in there. This was designed to play, again, as the Electro would suggest, electric recordings post-1925. It's very nicely finished. It has basically the same design as the HMV or Victor number 4 reproducer. Not a lot of difference there. The same needle bar. It's just bigger. That's all. And, of course, the isolator on the back here is a different design. That's something else I'm working on. It takes a very thin rubber shim. And uh, I have to probably manufacture that myself. I'll play a record. Uh, let's see, we have Bluebird. Smarty. Oh, and this machine actually uses a bullet brake. Something most machines by the late 20s and early 30s, which I think this is, had abandoned. There's just not a lot of information available about these machines or this company in the U.S. You know, I've picked up a few things here and there, and I'm working on more. But in the meantime... You can hear how it plays. You'll detect a slight tinniness in there. That is because I have not rebuilt the reproducer. I mean, the gaskets are still somewhat supple, but there are some air leaks. Okay.
got quite a smart of you. I can teach you a thing or two. Smarty, smarty. Don't you know you should hold me tight? Can't you tell when you've met the right party? Oh, you may know every star up above. Till you're in need of a lesson in love. Smarty, can't you see if you had a heart, you could learn to be twice as smart. Smarty. As you can see, the Homocord Electro did not incorporate an automatic brake into their portable anyway, at least not this model. They may have had others. I haven't found information on their full lineup. Always use one needle per play. You notice I took the needle out. But I'm uh, trolling the internet to see what turns up from time to time, little tidbits of information. A lot of it is in German, which I have to translate, but it's a nice machine. I mean, you really got to love that nicely finished wood they put on there. I mean, it's a really beautiful job. And it's in excellent condition. And I'm assuming the red color is probably more difficult to find on these as it is for HMV. For some reason, red is always a popular color in a portable machine. Most companies like HMV reserved it for their premium models. Yeah, HMV had a nice 102 with gold fitted hardware. It was really nice. Gold plated, not real gold. But there you go. That's the Home Accord Electro portable machine. I am not exactly sure what the model number is on this. Sure, it has one, but uh, at least you get a look at it. There's not too many videos on these I noticed on YouTube. Some of them are just people playing records that I'm assuming they're selling machines. This one is absolutely not for sale unless you got a suitcase full of cash because this was not cheap to import and it is very rare. I, I'm, I believe it's rare. Here in the country, I haven't found another collector with one. If you got one, drop me a line. I'd be interested to exchange any information you might have. Okay. <laughs>